Thanks for joining us in the garden today. We are here with Craig from Grange Co-op and we are talking about whatever this little creature is on the front of this bag, a grub, something that gets into your lawn you don't want in your lawn. What does it do? How do we take care of it? Yeah, so in the summertime, you don't really see it quite this early in the year, but in the summertime, you'll get brown patches in a lawn. And when you go out, if you rake or you kind of feel that grass, the roots are gone. It, you, it'll pull straight away from the soil and there's no roots to it. And that's because grubs get in your lawn and they're generally uh, laid by, by a European crane fly is what the bug is. It lays its eggs in your lawn and then the larva stage they eat out the roots of your grass. So you'll get big brown patches in your lawn like I said that don't have any roots. The important thing is that right now is the time you want to put stuff down to prevent it. So what we have is a season long uh, grub control. This one is bio-advanced. Bio um, and what you do is you're going to just put this in a spreader put it all over your lawn and that's going to protect the lawn all year. You won't have a problem with them uh, and you won't have to even think about it until a, a year from now. So is this something that you should be doing just ahead of time just in case or something you should only do if you suspect that maybe some of your brown patches were caused by grubs? I would do it uh, regardless. It is a big enough problem in our area. Um, we get people come in all summer coming in with this problem and then and there are things you can, we can try to do to fix it once it's started and things we can do to kill them at that time. Uh, but so much easier and so uh, just a lot less expense and a lot less work to treat it beforehand. So I, I would uh, I would do it, um, even if you haven't had a problem in years past, I would go ahead and do it because it is a big enough problem in our area that, that you're, you're likely to experience problems with it. Okay, better safe than sorry. So what time of the year should people be looking into kind of laying this down, keeping the grubs out? Yeah, so really anytime now, you can do it anytime in the year, um, but there's no downside to doing it early. So as early as you do it, it doesn't matter. It's going to last all year from whenever you put it on. So I would, uh, I would, I would do it now while you're thinking about it. If you wait until later in the year, um, chances are you might already have problems developing by then. And I know we talked a little bit about overseeding. Is this something that will interfere with that process? Is there an order you should be doing it in? No, this is something that's going to be standalone. Um, it doesn't, uh, you don't have to do it separately from fertilizing or overseeding or putting lime down or anything like that. This is kind of a standalone thing. Um, the one thing to think about with this, it doesn't have a lot. It does have a little bit of fertilizer in it and that helps the plant kind of take up um, take up the, the, the product that's in it that kills the grubs. So it has a little bit, but not enough to worry about you know, avoiding doing it while you're fertilizing. Okay, perfect, thank you. And thanks for joining us today in the garden. If you would like to learn more about grubs, how to keep them out of your lawn in the upcoming spring and summer months, you can head to our website, kdrv.com, and we'll see you next time in the garden.